Stevens in studio with once an Olympian, always an Olympian, That's the voice right. of this That's show. Right. <laughs> I learned something last week, Paul Tarek. Paul, yeah. always good to see you. It's always good to be here, and it's a special day today. I was informed, I don't pay attention on Facebook, I was informed by your extremely better half that uh, today is your birthday. <laughs> Would she send you a text message today? Yeah, she said She said uh, to wish you a happy birthday in there, make sure you don't forget it, and I just, I gotta say, you don't look bad. You don't look a day over 50. <laughs> you know? A buddy, uh, turning 38 today, a buddy of mine sends oh, me a text. Oh, you're only 38? Yeah. Oh, oh, he sends mind. a text message that says, uh, congratulations, bro, happy birthday, uh, happy 43rd birthday. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, gosh. Uh, you're 38. It seems as though and I learned this, uh, we, we did it a, a while when I was a kid, but we learned this, uh, I learned it more from a partner of mine, Sandy Sachs, and every time he has a birthday, he does something physically, fitness-wise. It's a little goofy. It's kind of off of his normal trend, and uh, as the years go on, he picks something goofy. So today, I've got to accomplish, and I may throw a wrinkle at you, Paul, in this show. I may just drop down and do this, is, is that I got to do 38 sets of 38 push-ups throughout the day, not, not too tough, but... I just got to do 38. It's harder keeping track of how many I got to do. So I'm well on my way. 38 sets of 38. I thought it was a, a pretty simple simple number it's to like, do. And, like 1,500 push-ups <laughs> or something total throughout yeah, the day. Yeah, it's, it's some Herschel Walker type number. And, uh, you know, I'm going to feel good about it. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I, I, I rarely do that. Set number six. <laughs> Set number six of 38. I, I've done a set since I've been here in studio. I may do a set How throughout many more the show sets do you to, have put to, go? You, to put you, Paul Tarek, on uh, you know spotlight. You might have to go for 30 seconds, Paul. Don't worry, we won't put you in any transition times. You should probably do it during a commercial that. break. Yeah, do it during <laughs> a commercial break. Wait, 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 but we talked to our listeners about this, and setting a goal is good. Where are you? Are you keeping track of your progress? Are you are you going to be able to accomplish your goal by the uh, by the end of the day? Hey, no question about it. I'm I'm well on my way. I actually am only twelve sets in. Uh, I did a few this morning. Got pretty distracted through the day, seeing people all throughout. But I'll tell you this: Who has a business partner as good as I do, who finishes work before me by ten minutes, but waits? For me after and says, let's do a set before I go home. In office, we do a set of 38 push-ups together, leave together. Uh, I got to say thank you very much to Sandy Sachs. Great partner, great business partner, a talented chiropractor, fun to be around, but uh, thanks for thanks for hanging with me. Well, well San- Sandy's a great guy, and, and, and I appreciate him helping you along. You said you're 12 sets in, and again, I'm not very good at mathematics here, <laughs> but uh, that seems to be uh, 26 sets to go, and it is 6 o'clock. Shoot. You're kind of busy for the next hour. You got five. You got five <laughs> hours left after that. Let's do some quick mad five sets an hour. Is it amazing how relaxed I look, Paul, it at does. 38, such knowing I daunting, got 26 sets? Such a daunting peak ahead of you. <laughs> after 38, the heart rate's down low. The blood blood pressure's low. I'm not having any issues. It may be because we got our guests in studio, Emily and Angela. We're going to have them on in just a little bit. Uh, slow flow fitness, right? And and uh, we're going to be talking some club bells. I. Think I think it's a good thing that uh, co-host uh, Adam Melhuse is not here today. Adam used to swing the stick a little bit, and these are some different sticks that they use. And uh, you know, I'm, it gets crowded in here, Paul. This isn't the biggest studio. Worried about an injury, and I think hopefully we'll be able to prevent one. I feel like a demonstration could just be a. Uh... <laughs> It, it could be like a guarantee towards like some sort of uh, injury prevention program we're going to start, apparently. Yeah, totally. If you're just joining us now and uh, you're wondering if you should stay with us or not, <laughs> please do. You're on ESPN 1280, The Ticket. Yeah, you're listening to Live in the Run. Uh, here we are every Wednesday at 6 o'clock. You can find us online at livingtherun.com or Facebook slash Living the Run. Podcasts go up uh, tomorrow of the show, and we video these shows, which could be interesting today. I may just drop down and hit some push-ups. We may see some club bells fly uh, uh, could be a good video to uh, watch tomorrow. Yeah, if something goes wrong, this totally could be a YouTube sensation, like instant hit. <laughs> instant hit. You know, and what's better is is that it sounds as though uh, these guys are super dynamic, and we talk about the potential uh, for people that run into repetitive stress injuries from doing the same thing over and over again. And we both looked at the website, and we see a variety of things being offered here, and this is what people need, uh, no question, to make things dynamic uh, and to uh, stimulate their body in as, as many possible ways as they can. Yeah, it's really interesting. We we talk about repetitive movement. I, I just had a class on this today. We had an ergonomics class. Uh, you know, work is really concerned about uh, health and fitness. They're really moving towards us. And uh, we had an ergonomics class today. Talked about repetitive movement uh, injuries, uh, how to prevent them. Uh, you know, how to when to take breaks, that kind of stuff. So, it's 
fits with the theme of the day. And since you got 26 sets of 38 push-ups, you may want to knock one out during the first commercial break here. And, I, th- uh, I think I will hit him in the commercial break. And I'll be break, coaching no you to tell you this is going to be a repetitive movement injury. I just, I just see it. I wonder if I will get a repetitive injury uh, from this 38 or 38. You know, I've always found it so perplexing is this concept of repetitive stress motion. But in so many of the cases, people are hardly moving, right? They're in complete sedentary silence almost. Their wrist is barely moving left to right or forward to back. We call it this repetitive stress movement. How about just flat injury due to lack of movement? It seems like the better definition of this whole thing. I agree. During during our, our informative class today, we learned uh, there was a study done and uh, three hours of sitting a day, uh, if you sit more than three hours a day, your uh, increase in, in uh, taking years off your life, your increase in die, the I'm sorry, your rate that you would die sooner is like 37% greater is the risk factor. Yeah, and accel- accelerated aging. But then, but then you think about it and think about three hours of sitting a day. A- even if you're really active, if you drive 35 minutes to work, sit down for half hour at lunch. I mean, you, you start looking at these things, three hours a day of sitting is gone in, in, a, in, a, in a snap, you know? Yeah, it, sh- it certainly can be. And that's uh, most of society. And, you know, we've been talking about in our clinic uh, now for several years, trying to push people towards the idea of a standing desk. It's finally taking hold. It's amazing. But businesses around this town are actually doing it. Uh, you know, when I came to this town and I hear uh, he was often advertising on uh, uh, the show before, so Allison Wall show is uh, how Swayze, you know, he's, he's the most successful realtor around here. The guy sells more homes and in the second place isn't even close. His office has been standing office. You know, he guys on his feet, people are moving around, they're active, their minds alert. The more you talk to people that are standing, they find that their meetings are more efficient. Their work time is more efficient and nobody says I'm more tired. At the end of the day, everybody says, I got more energy than ever. I'm ready to do more things. Metabolisms go up. You see weight loss, even in people that don't want to lose weight. They go find that set point and you're seeing this stuff start to take off and it's just going to get bigger because we got to get out of this sitting uh, sitting lifestyle. It's killing us. Maybe they need to make <laughs> invent some sort of product where the internet would be, you know, your access to the internet is powered by your, your walking on a treadmill at your desk. That would just be... <laughs> I mean, either nobody would ever go on Facebook again or people would actually be in shape, you know? Well, Paul, you know, they do have that. They've already got treadmill desks. They've had treadmill That's desks awesome. for years. Do, do the treadmill desks actually power the, 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 the equipment that you're using? Hey. That's what I'm saying. You want, you want to get in and check your personal email at work? You better start walking, buddy. Ooh, Facebook, incline goes up, you know? <laughs> you got, that is, this is genius stuff. The carrot Paul. on the end of the stick, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> You're not going to be having to work those outages for long, man. Entrepreneurship we at its put finest. Your bulls <laughs> on, you know. There's always going to be that one guy who like brings his dog to work. It's like I'm not walking. My dog will do it. <laughs> These girls are sitting in here going, "What show are we at?" <laughs> Listeners, again, you're listening to Living the Run here on ESPN 1280, The Ticket. Uh, it's an amazing thing how we got to where we got and now we act as though some of these things are so surprising. Uh, I looked uh, at some statistics not that long ago. When you start to look at digestive disorders in this country and they are huge, acid reflux on the on the uh, acceleration up, a colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, all these different things that are going on with people, colon cancer, appendicitis, all of these things are related to digestive issues that aren't being addressed but that are being caused by a sitting uh, lifestyle. You can see neurosurgeons that have talked about this that, that are now predicting which area of the spine will have degenerative disc disease or uh, spinal cord compromise just by someone's history on their digestive complaints. It's very, very fantastic stuff. Uh, changing that pelvis, weakening that pelvis, now not allowing things to expel as, as, as though they are. And now all of a sudden we got a weakened immune system. We got all kinds of problems for people that we wouldn't have had and that we didn't have 100 years ago. This stuff didn't even exist uh, 100, 150 years ago. Uh, big, big problem, more than just musculoskeletal complaints. First, first off, that's gross to talk about around <laughs> dinner time, by the way. But more importantly, uh, you know, you're, you're absolutely right. You know, we we actually talked a little bit about that today, uh, just in terms of core strength, um, engaging the abs. You know, how many people actually engage the abs on a daily basis? When you, even when you're sitting, a lot of people go, "Oh, I'm sitting. I just totally relax." Well, if you're totally relaxed, force has to be transferred someplace. You know, <laughs> the force is going to go. You know, it's going it's going to go through through your back. And, you know, into your center of mass. And the problem is your, your back's all arched and now you're sitting on it. Now you're crushing all your little vertebrae in there and everything. And it's like 
people like deal with these back problems for years when when there are very simple solutions. And I'm sure we're going to find out about a few of those today. Uh, real simple exercise they can do to uh, feel better. Yeah, you know, and I, I was talking to a, a lady today, and so many times they want to change our chair, or they want to do these ergonomic assessments. Uh, they want to bring in a stability ball to sit on, and it, this is all nice stuff. And these are things that uh, may enhance the process a little bit, but we still haven't addressed the idea that we're still Stop in a sitting thing. posture. <laughs> It's not going to get any better. And the reality is, is that you have to get upright. I, the best thing I ever heard, and uh, Sandy actually was the first one to tell me this too, was is that there's a campaign that they were doing that sitting is the new smoking. And it, it goes to that whole idea that smoking... I sit two packs a day. Yeah. You know, <laughs> smoking was one of those uh, deals where they did, they wanted to just say it's not that big a deal. It's not really harming people. Oh, yeah, because it, that's because the tobacco industry <laughs> had incredible lobbyists. That's just... But but the, the same point is going is is that people say look sitting's not our major problem it's not the big issue but the the, the reality it is. is it is you know blood sugar issue thyroid issue digestive disorder issue musculoskeletal issue brain energy issue you name it it's associated with it and we have to make those changes and I think you're right uh, no question about it we're going to hear a little bit about that in just in just moments so that was they they talked about that today in this ergonomics class and they talked about even if you lead a, a really active lifestyle. Uh, and you work out, you you. It's very hard to you don't really undo the effects of sitting. You more kind of prolong the effects of sitting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, you're still accelerating the aging process yeah. <laughs> dramatically. Hey, you know, uh, on that note, I think it's it's got to be about time for me to take a break because I got 38 pushups to do. Uh, I think hitting yeah, like and, 1100. You know, <laughs> but yeah, who's got them? You know, <laughs> I still got, not this guy. I still got 1100. That birthday type of deal. We're gonna come back with Angela and Emily uh, from Slow Fo uh, Slow Flow. S-L-O-F-L-O Fitness. Uh, you can find them at slowflowfitness.com. Uh, back in moments. You're listening to Living the Run on ESPN Radio 1280 The Ticket. My name is Chris Randolph, and as a local track and field Olympic hopeful, I've been seeing Brian Quigley at Slow Wellness Center to help me with injury recovery during my season. Brian has not only helped me with some very extensive injuries, but has also educated me on the specifics of how my body moves when I compete. His knowledge and touch has helped me achieve personal bests in my competition and has also helped me in injury prevention. Becoming a wellness patient of his has helped me stop my injuries before they start, making time spent recovering shorter, leaving more time spent training for my goals. From injury prevention to wellness, Brian understands the patient and holistically helps them achieve their personal health-related goals. So check out Brian Quigley at peakperformancesLO.com and find him on Facebook and comment a response to this ad and get a complimentary 60-minute massage. You want to get fit? And I mean really fit? Fit for fun? Fit for looking good? Fit for life? It can happen for you at Athlon Fitness and Performance in San Luis Obispo. Athlon has a four-week fitness fast start designed to get anyone back on track and moving like a champion quickly and effectively. For a limited time, you can start Athlon's four-week fitness fast start for only $197. That's Four weeks of personal training, nutritional guidance, movement rehabilitation, motivation, fun, and encouragement, all for just $197. Take your body and your athleticism to a new level. Go to athlonslow.com. That's A-T-H-L-O-N-S-L-O.com to learn more about the four-week fitness fast start. It'll be the best decision you'll ever make. Folks, when it comes to the health of my teeth, I will not compromise and neither should you. It's time you go where my wife and I go. Go see Dr. Ryan Ross. I get it. Not everyone loves a dentist. And heck, even a few of you out there are scared to death of these offices. Bad past experiences? Well, you ever had a bad haircut? How about a bad meal somewhere? You didn't stop getting your haircut, and you certainly didn't stop eating, so stop ignoring your teeth. Dr. Ross's gentle approach, calming demeanor, and office full of upbeat staff put your dental fears to rest. Conveniently located in a great little house on Marsh Street downtown, Dr. Ross's office exudes the highest level of professionalism, mixed with an atmosphere much like your own home. Look, nobody's in a rush here. It's not a get them in, get them out atmosphere. Every time I'm in Dr. Ross's office, it's like I'm the only guy that matters. No distractions, just full focus on my oral health. If you're interested in the highest quality in dental care and want to walk out of the office every time with a smile, call Dr. Ryan Ross today, 541-5800. Tired of taking supplements when you have no idea if they're working or not? Frustrated by not feeling or seeing measurable results with your vitamins? Looking for a new job or a little extra spending money? 
Do you know anyone with headaches, chronic pain, inflammation, autoimmune disease, or any other malady they just can't shake? Come learn about a breakthrough product that is scientifically supported, plant-based, and is used daily all over the world to combat age-related disease. Learn how this product is the only one of its kind on the publicly traded market to address the fundamental causes of accelerated aging, otherwise known as oxidative stress. If you want to learn how to reduce inflammation, save money by eliminating 90% of your supplement regime, and provide residual income for your family, call 805-234-7816. No gimmicks, just hardcore science on free radicals, antioxidants, and oxidative stress finally being revealed accurately and honestly. Call today to find out more. That's 805-234-7816. We're back with Living the Run. Welcome back to Living the Run. One more set down, Paul. <laughs> 13 of 38. 25 to go. You're the mathematician. Too in your, many. In your, Too many. In your head, 25 times 38, Paul. 25 times 30. Oh, my gosh, dude. I don't even want to think about it. 25 times, 20 times, times 40 would be 1,000. So. <laughs> yeah. More, more. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go for more, more than a thousand. Hey, uh, this segment brought to us by Jaffa Cafe. Jaffa, Ca- Jaffa Cafe has a new location, Monterey Street, our home for Greek food. Get your gyro, your falafel. Have you, have you been there since they opened baklava. up the new one yet? I did. I went there on the second day. I, uh, I kind of figured you were there like day one or day. <laughs> yeah. But you're waiting outside the window. Open, open. I was open, actually there. Open. The I was actually there the Friday before they were supposed to be open the week before, and uh, <laughs> still construction everywhere. So uh, brought to us by Jaffa Cafe. Each of our guests will get a gift card to Jaffa Cafe. So let's talk about our guests <laughs> from Slow Flow Fitness. Amanda, or Angela and Emily uh, Fisher. Angela and Emily Fisher. Gosh, Angela, you've been here before. You've joined. You've joined Living the Run before, and it wasn't such. Day. It wasn't such an unpleasant experience. She that, wanted to uh, come back. She came wanted back. to come back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. It's probably because I wasn't here. I wasn't in some quest to do thirty-eight sets of push-ups for thirty-eight. Ryan Ferran. We got to still give props out to Ryan Ferran. I uh, saw a post from him yesterday on Facebook. The creator of Living the Run uh, in Arizona, doing great, great work out there. But uh, hey, tell us what's new from what we uh, what you were doing last year. Well, we've gotten uh, more heavily involved with club bells and proliferating them here in the states. Right now, club bells are being widely used in Europe and they're spreading like wildfire, and we are behind here. So we're here to get you guys up to par with club bell swinging. Hey, tell us what that what that means, Angelo. You know, when we talk about uh, being behind, who is anybody else doing club bell exercise in Slow County? No. <laughs> well, let's, let's take a stop for a second here, and, and what is a club bell? I mean, let's, go, let's start there. Let's start with the basics, because I'm, I'm still I'm, I'm familiar, kind of, but uh, I, I want to hear more. Sure. Uh, club bells stem from ancient Russia, Indian Persia. I'm sure you've seen uh, cavemen, you know, wielding clubs. So they, they stem way back into human history. But they're a, a very ago. effective training tool. <laughs> saw one a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> very effective training tool. The displaced center of mass causes you to have to use your core muscles in sequences. Um, and yeah, it's you, you basically got to try it. You got to feel it. Well, when you say club bells, does that mean that we're always working with multiple? Uh, are we juggling multiple uh, apparatuses here, or you can and do describe it for the listeners exercises? too, because people don't don't know what a club bell is. You know, they've heard of kettlebells. Looks you know, like a baseball bat. Yeah, exactly. It looks like a baseball bat. But as you were saying earlier, I, I like how you said this in the break. Swinging one like a baseball bat, like our co-host Adam Melhuse might want to do, is like what'd you say? Nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> like nails Worst on a chalkboard. Worst thing you could do. <laughs> Worst thing. So these things look like a baseball bat. Uh, I don't know if they smell like one, but they certainly aren't used like one. Correct. You you can maneuver them, and some of the exercises uh, you use with club bells are, are somewhat similar to kettlebells, kind of like the brother, I guess you could say, of, of the club bell. But the increased display center of mass is going to cause you to have to really ground and use your core strength to a, a whole nother level. 
Got it. So, uh, you know, I, one of the questions got to be is, is you know, how do you get into this? So, Emily, you know, when I when we talk about this, is this one of those things where it was just kind of you guys had some sisterly battles here going on, and it was just kind of a, uh, a way to uh, don't even know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of a combative type. It started out combative, and then it was kind of it became a fitness thing. <laughs> Yes and no. But actually, uh, I mean, I was just basically observing my sister and looking at the results that she was getting. And I wanted a piece of that action. Oh, <laughs> so I like it, that. it's very, very efficient fitness tool because it's meant to be inefficiently designed. I mean, you go in the gyms nowadays and you see all these high tech machines and they, they practically do the work for you. So, I know those are the best kind. Oh, you yeah. see how much my machine <laughs> bends today for me? That's <laughs> totally. awesome. <laughs> So we're trying to get away from that and actually um, make you be more efficient by having an inefficient primitive tool. Got it. You, it's, it's funny you say that because I've seen, I saw Angela uh, probably, I don't know, it might have been three or four years ago at Kennedy doing them. And I kind of, I, my reaction was kind of different. I, I didn't, I didn't think I want a piece of that action. I thought that. Good almost as intimidating. Good for you. Yeah. Good, well, mm. yeah. good for you. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Of course, Paul's mind goes there, but it was more <laughs> the married guy whose mind just still doesn't ever quite make it. What I thought was more intimidating. Uh, how many of the people that you encounter find it to be more intimidating versus your exhilaration? Hey, look at this. This girl is fit. Uh, she's ripped. The muscle tone looks great. And you can tell she's sweating and loving what she's doing. Well, I mean, to tell you the truth, when you look at them at first, it's it's quite intimidating. But the minute you pick them up and try them, you can just feel the difference. So yeah, I mean they are they look spectacular. It's something you might see in the circus. So at first, it's like wow, how would I ever do that? But the minute you pick them up and you feel the way that they swing, I mean this is multi planner weight swinging as opposed to linear weight lifting. So it's just a world. It's a whole different ball game. So just walk us through, like, you know, I'm just an average Joe off the street. I come in, I come to you guys. Hey, what, what do you recommend? Um, you know, walk us through, like, a first day with these things. Oh, don't listen to him. He's an Olympian decathlete. This is true. This is, this, these are not lies. Ego is bigger uh, than the studio. <laughs> well, <laughs> Answer it honestly. <laughs> Who? Here's the thing. I don't care how much weight you can bench. I don't care how big you, your muscles are going in. We start everyone out with five-pound club bells. Um, because it, you have to ingrain proper structure before you start increasing weight. Uh, they can be very, when you're swinging weight, it can be very dangerous when you have not felt and incorporated good structure first. Um, so there are many different types of clubball exercises, but they get obviously very complex as you're swinging them around your body. And most of the complex exercises can be broken down into several small components, small exercises. So we will break the exercise down into little components. You work on those, and then you can build up to a really awesome, cool-looking exercise. Hey, we're talking to Angela and Emily uh, Fisher of Slow Flow Fitness, talking club bells. Um, I guess I'm, I'm trying to get my, my mind wrapped around this and what you guys are doing because I've only ever seen you as an individual doing it. But yet on the website here, uh, again, slowflowfitness.com, it, it talks about large and small group classes. I mean, what's a large class? I'm kind of trying to picture this in my head. Everybody with these, <laughs> a these large club class bells. is like 10 people. 10 people? Okay, really, so you get yeah. 10 people and they all got two club bells. One or two, there's two-handed. You can do two-handed club ball exercises. You can do single-handed exercises or double. Okay. And is this, I mean, this is this is your guys' niche that you're going after uh, by by uh, all means. I mean, are you offering other stuff at Slow Flow Fitness um, or is it all other stuff that gets us prepared better to use the club bells? No, I mean, the club bell is essentially our weight implement. So if you're going to add weight to the mix, that's what we use. We find it to be the most effective and efficient for our clients. But we're really about producing optimal fitness. So increasing mobility, um, joint health, and just being able to do the things that you do in your life, you know, your sport, um, you know, taking care of your family um, with the best performance. So this is by no means meant to replace any other activities you're doing. It's meant to enhance what you're doing. And we just find that the club bell is by far the best weighted implement out there. So if the club bell is maybe a little intimidating to the first time person off the street, uh, you're still working on basic health and fitness, just general uh, body conditioning. And then if they want to step it up later on, maybe uh, increase the uh, uh, difficulty of it or uh, that's what you guys, complexity of it, that's what you guys do. Absolutely. The that's kettlebell right. is, or the kettle, uh, sorry. 
Club bell. Club bell. You got me saying kettlebell now. I was thinking about this. Blame it on the birthday boy, right? Yeah, I know. Happy birthday to you, buddy. <laughs> okay. So uh, talk, talk a little bit about then uh, the process of somebody coming to you, contacting you, because it's all, it is a pretty new deal. I mean, and, and you talked about, you kind of hit on something that we've hit on multiple different times where we get into kind of some of these non multiplanar activities which most people are used to right they get on these machines they do a leg curl you know they do a leg extension they do a shoulder press uh, it requires zero stability uh, walk us through that process the evaluation process to kind of bring down that potential intimidation that might be coming in because I, I, I know people are listening right now and they're sitting there going I I'm still not sure if this is for me I mean how do I walk in walk into that place and assure myself that hey you know what uh, they're gonna evaluate me for where I'm at I'm a sedentary housewife. I'm the guy that pounds weights, you know, at a ridiculous uh, fashion. Right. Well, don't knock it till you try it. Uh, you know, uh, definitely goes for club bell training. It's super fun. It is intimidating at first. Let's face it, to, to swing a weight, swing a weight around your head. Um, it can be very intimidating. But as you build upon it, you're going to you're going to get some confidence that you didn't have before. That's for sure. Um, we we well well we we put all of our clients through you know a poise analysis and and assess where they are um, in their mobility and then we make all of our programs are dynamic and tailored towards the individual and their goals and where they're at so i we've had 80 year old women swinging you know 20 pound club bells and then we've had you know big ripped guys that are having trouble with a five pounder so it's definitely an individual um, system that we're teaching and we tailor make it to our clients and you know like you're saying long gone are the days when the, the gym is the only place that you can go and get a workout I mean that just doesn't work for society and for people nowadays we've got to be able to deliver something that they can use on the road sometimes in the airport wherever they will be um, and just be able to get a really good efficient workout um, and do that anywhere anytime any place so a lot of what we do is also on the corporate wellness side of things um, we're mobile coaches so we come to you on site and just kind of help undo those overcompensations that people are building up in the office on the job and other activities in their life um, so just really it's the it's not a cookie cutter system um, we definitely bring it to the person um, for their individual goals and needs and wherever they're at so yeah that's the that last part you touched on is just great you know it's not a cookie cutter system it's not easy to come in and say we're gonna have you do 10 reps of this and have you be great so basically, if you got uh, if you got no muscles, if you only got show muscles, people come to you and they get the go muscles, right? Is that because exactly. that kind of how it works? That's it. <laughs> this is why we have Paul Tarek every week. <laughs> it's lines like that it that is. keep living the run going. No muscles, Co not show muscles. <laughs> that's uh, that's, that's copyrighted, not to be used without the custom permission of Paul Tarek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's almost like, and I like this about you guys, and we talk about this a lot, you know, at my clinic, Slow Wellness Center, is about equipping people with the ability to do some of these things on their own. In my hearing that you guys are kind of like that coach, you give the coaching and then you have them start to work the system a Thank little you. on their own. You yeah. just scored We're major brownie po <laughs> points with that. And, you know, everything you were saying before, you're saying these girls are looking at us like we're crazy. No, you are speaking our language the whole time, and, and you're absolutely right. Um, our goal, and, and we are not shy to say it, our goal is for you to eventually not need us. People need to become more self-sufficient. We have, in, in our opinion, a, a medical industry that's based on dependency, and people need to start taking back some of that control. So we love it when clients learn from us and come to a point where they're self-sufficient and can pass us on to someone else. Um, that that's really our goal. We're taking it from healthcare to self care, and that's really our goal for our clients. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, need you less is the big key. Hey, I want to touch base with you guys after the break. We want to talk about uh, how this has changed your own bodies, your own physiques compared to what you had, uh, how you were exercising in the past before Club Bells. Skinny fat. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also want to talk about any testimonials, kind of some of the best stories you've seen, those ones that kind of heartwarm you as somebody does begin to go from that dependency on healthcare to that self-care. So 38 more push-ups for me, and uh, we'll be back with more Angela and uh, Emily Fisher. Uh, from Slow Flow Fitness, slowflowfitness.com. More after the break. You're listening to Living the Run on ESPN Radio 1280 The Ticket.
Puma Aquatics Team offers year-round swim programming for novice, recreational, and competitive swimmers. For 16 years, Puma has developed some of the fastest swimmers on the Central Coast, as well as the nation. Puma has three convenient locations to choose from, providing programming for all of San Luis Obispo County. Puma offers swim assessments for new swimmers on Tuesdays and Thursdays at the Slow Kennedy Club, Atascadero Kennedy Club, and Arroyo Grande High School. For more information about Puma Aquatics, check out pumaswim.org. Join the Puma Pride and challenge yourself to reach new levels in your swimming. Puma Aquatics, where pride, passion, and persistence pay off. The ultimate choice for sports massage in Slow County? Peak Performance. Conveniently located at Slow Wellness Center just blocks from Cal Poly is ready to assist you to reach your personal best. Calling all athletes and fitness enthusiasts. If you're ready to start alleviating symptoms by addressing the true problems, if you are seeking efficient and effective body work, then you can count on Peak Performance. Nagging injury? Losing the bounce in your step? Pain or tightness keeping you from training hard and reaching your goals? Raise your standards. Raise your expectations. Call Peak Performance 543-8688. Hey guys, Paul Tarek from Living the Run here. As a former Olympian, there is only one place myself and fellow athletes go when it comes to chiropractic care on the Central Coast. With four chiropractors in the clinic, Slow Wellness Center is the largest, most comprehensive group of docs in San Luis Obispo County. I began seeing Dr. Rex Stevens back in 2005 for spinal adjustments to help maximize my performance, minimize my injury, and allow me to compete at my best. When the difference between a win and a loss can be just a fraction of an inch, perfect alignment in all joints is essential. One of the great things about the team at Slow Wellness is no matter where I had an issue, whether it was my spine, my foot, knee, wrist, or shoulder, they were always able to help. This team, made up of Dr. Rex and Molly Stevens, Dr. Sachs and Dr. Bandolo, is sure to help you reach your health and fitness goals too. If it's chiropractic care you need, go where I go, Slow Wellness Center. Check them out at slowwellness.com or call 543-8688. Tired of taking supplements when you have no idea if they're working or not? Frustrated by not feeling or seeing measurable results with your vitamins? Looking for a new job or a little extra spending money? Do you know anyone with headaches, chronic pain, inflammation, autoimmune disease, or any other malady they just can't shake? Come learn about a breakthrough product that is scientifically supported, plant-based, and is used daily all over the world to combat age-related disease. Learn how this product is the only one of its kind on the publicly traded market to address the fundamental causes of accelerated aging, otherwise known as oxidative stress. If you want to learn how to reduce inflammation, save money by eliminating 90% of your supplement regime, and provide residual income for your family, call 805-234-7816. No gimmicks, just hardcore science on free radicals, antioxidants, and oxidative stress finally being revealed accurately and honestly. Call today to find out more. That's 805-234-7816. We're back with Living the Run. Welcome back to Living the Run. This next segment brought to you by Left Coast T-shirts. If it's shirts you need and printed with anything, hats, embroidery, whatever it is you need, go to David Whitaker at Left Coast T-shirts. Got these tank tops for you guys, Living the Run tank tops. I got smalls and mediums here. I don't know which which one you like. Good workout tank tops, super soft, good, good stuff. Uh, If you missed any of the show, we're on livingtherun.com, facebook.com slash livingtherun. The reason I'm breathing a little bit. I I was going to say, Rex, (laughs) you you need to take a break here, buddy. You're a little... You know, if you're just joining the show, turning 38 today, doing 38 sets of 38 push-ups, and in that break... I decided to try to double up, and I did hit 76. It was a little rougher, uh, but that knocked out two sets there. So 15 sets down, not bad, 23 sets to go. I'm uh, not going to get it all in this hour, but uh, hey, maybe through the C.J. Silas Show. Remember to stay tuned on ESPN 1280, The Ticket. C.J. Silas Show is next at their new time, Wednesdays at 7. We've been in studio with Angela and Emily Fisher from SlowFlowFitness.com. We've been talking... Not kettlebell, kettlebells, Paul. Club bells. You had me thinking when you were, when you were talking about them being like the sister to the kettlebell. I just kind of imagined this like workout little family of like kettlebells and club bells. Hey, talk to us, guys. And you know, it doesn't matter which order to go here, but obviously, you, you did some fitness things before. You probably played some sports. You did, you know, you you, you meddled in all the different areas, of maybe fitness. Talk about the changes you've seen, maybe physically, mentally, both in your bodies, in your life, in your health since you've mm-hmm. taken on the self-care approach rather than the dependent health care approach, as you put it. All right. You want a personal story? <laughs> personal story would be great. All right. Well, you, your, your personal my, story would my, be great. My friend no, Bob. Wait, you could give Paul's personal story. We're, but. <laughs> we're about to go deep. I don't even think you know. Uh, <laughs> well, 
Can well, we go deep on living the run? Yeah, we do. Yeah. So I was on antidepressants for like 13 years, and I started uh, doing this stuff. I met some guys who did it uh, known as the Wolf Pack up in Salinas, California. I went to school up in Monterey. And I met them, and they kind of took me under their wing and put a club in my hand, and I fell in love. And I moved away and kept at it, and about a year later, I honestly, organically stopped taking my meds. And after, you know, like two weeks, I was like, wow, I haven't been taking my meds. And I was like, maybe I should evaluate how I feel, because I didn't even notice, right? And <laughs> so that was when I was like, well, there's my answer. I'm feeling great. And so uh, that was essentially for me what got me off my my medical dependency. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, Paul, not to interrupt you, but I appreciate that because I talked to somebody today and we just kind of went through every, quote, scientific article ever written actually will all agree that the best antidepressant out there is some aspect of exercise sure. and i was just going to ask that is be before you had you had picked up uh, you know with the wolf pack here were you doing any sort of workout regimen or was it just kind of hit and miss yes i had plateaued on a five day a week uh hour and a half workout a day routine now i don't ever work out more than 30 minutes it is the most efficient and effective workout i get and, and i'm able to have the energy to do anything else physical that i want to do throughout the day and i i have to say uh, there's lots of ways to train out there, but nothing makes you feel more badass than swinging a club around. Yeah, I believe it. And, you know, uh, you're, you're kind of, it's amazing, but exercise is, is a key to this kind of depression thing and, and but, uh, or anxieties and some of this kind of stuff. But you hit it right on is because you like what the heck you're doing. Mm -hmm. And so many people are doing exercises they don't like. And we've talked about that on this show before. I don't get it. You're not going to get the results that you want, either physically or mentally, doing exercises you don't enjoy. It's, it's not a prison sentence. It does. And there, there's days that you may not want to do the workout, but, you know, when those days are few and far between, but if you're going every day dreading what you're doing, it's a fine, you know, working out is not a, it's not a three-year thing or a two-year thing. It's a lifestyle. And, and if you hate what you're doing, it's, it's going to be that thing that just gets put back on the shelf. Yeah, and let me tell you, if you're listening now and you're just turning in Slow Flow Fitness, uh, Emily and Angela Fisher, I'm telling you, you got to get around these girls because you can tell the energy is big that you guys really actually do dig what you're doing. Uh, this isn't a job. This isn't like, hey, some new thing. It's uh, This gets results. We enjoy the heck out of it. Emily, tell your story here uh, in, in getting into Club Bells and how it changed you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've always been a very active person, enjoy the, the lifestyle here on the Central Coast. And similarly to Angela, had been working out just to kind of maintain, um, you know, my shape and my figure and was would always love to do physical things, but found myself injured a lot. Um, started using club bells, started training in this system, and I have not been seriously injured since. And I live a pretty, pretty crazy lifestyle. Um, so it's just, we spend a lot of time, like Angela mentioned, we're working out 30 minutes, no more, but we spend a lot of time in prehabilitating our joints and our muscles and then rehabilitating so that we avoid injury. So for me, it was just biomechanically the most sound fitness program I'd ever um, stumbled upon and to not be injured and be able to do the things I love and enjoy to do I mean it just doesn't get any better for that not to mention the emotional benefits of it like we're talking about but you couple that with the the physical benefits and and just feeling strong and powerful and never being being injured or hurt it's a win-win yeah I love that you know you get the new restorative mobility class you get the new club bell athletics class uh, just in a, we just got a couple minutes um, give us a give us a good uh, testimonial on somebody who came to you maybe hesitant about uh, was struggling with different areas of fitness what have you and who uh, really got their life kind of turned around just by kind of joining and getting on this club bell thing um, you know we've worked with a lot of people um, one lady in particular she's got early onset Parkinson's and has just been really struggling with that both emotionally obviously in, in a diagnosis like that um, but then also physically and taking her care into her own hands trying to be proactive um, she's been coming to our restorative mobility classes and is having phenomenal results um, not just physically and being able to keep her her system um, flowing and, and optimum but also emotionally it's been so good for her to come and um, know that she she's taking this action um, to to fight for herself um, we've also had great um, 
experiences with athletes because, like I was saying, it's just such a good system for avoiding injury and keeping really, really strong. Um, so athletes really love it and have great results. Yeah, awesome. Real quick, uh, tell tell people where you are. Where is Slow Flow Fitness? I know we got a phone number if they want to call you, 805-302-3443. That's 805-302. That's my cell. Give, give us a call. 3443. Yeah, it sounds like you guys are so adaptable uh, and getting right to people and getting right, right back. Uh, tell us where they find you because uh, I know you're going to places, but can, right. can they go to a location as well? We are where you are. We have also access to several facilities throughout the county. So if you're not comfortable training outdoors in your own home or if you can't make it to one of our classes, we have facilities available for you that we can meet at as hey, well. Hey, we, should we be looking for you like local parks or uh, in somebody's front yard? You should. Or? That's actually where we met El Evan Sylvester, where we're teaching classes now at, at his facility at Ethos Wellness. I'm, I'm liking the idea. Meadow of, Park. Know, yeah, you guys talked about going over to uh, Avila. I'm, I'm liking the idea of standing on that beach. Yeah, we're, you know, we're moving, moving to Avila Beach soon. So if, if you like the beach, you'll probably find us training and, and doing yep. classes there in groups very soon you'll know who we are we'll be the ones swinging the clubs <laughs> yeah and you'll be the ones wearing the live in the run gear that's right the live in the run gear <laughs> exactly. from left coast t-shirts now while you're wearing that gear let's not let's not assault anybody with those clubs <laughs> though you know we want to have a good even if they come into your workout area yeah. you know <laughs> Hey guys, uh, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for coming in. Uh, we look to uh, hope to hook up with you again in maybe another year, kind of find out where things are going and uh, follow you online as well. Definitely. Thanks so much. <laughs> hey, good stuff, Paul. Uh, when we come back, we will join uh, via phone Ryan Joyner from Athlon Elite. Uh, Ryan's going to tell us what's new at Athlon and then tips and takeaways as always. Paul, you got something? Oh, I'm just waiting for you to get started 76 more push ups, buddy. <laughs> I just want to see you crest. You see, I want to see, see you if I can go 76. Home. Yeah, 15 yeah. sets down, 23 to go. More from Living the Run next. You're listening to Living the Run on ESPN Radio 1280 The Ticket. Folks. When it comes to the health of my teeth, I will not compromise, and neither should you. It's time you go where my wife and I go. Go see Dr. Ryan Ross. I get it. Not everyone loves a dentist, and heck, even a few of you out there are scared to death of these offices. Bad past experiences? Well, you ever had a bad haircut? How about a bad meal somewhere? You didn't stop getting your haircut, and you certainly didn't stop eating, so stop ignoring your teeth. Dr. Ross's gentle approach, calming demeanor, and office full of upbeat staff put your dental fears to rest. Conveniently located in a great little house on Marsh Street downtown, Dr. Ross's office exudes the highest level of professionalism, mixed with an atmosphere much like your own home. Look, nobody's in a rush here. It's not a get them in, get them out atmosphere. Every time I'm in Dr. Ross's office, it's like I'm the only guy that matters. No distractions, just full focus on my oral health. If you're interested in the highest quality in dental care and want to walk out of the office every time with a smile, call Dr. Ryan Ross today, 541-5800. The ultimate choice for sports massage in Slow County, Peak Performance. Conveniently located at Slow Wellness Center just blocks from Cal Poly is ready to assist you to reach your personal best. Calling all athletes and fitness enthusiasts. If you're ready to start alleviating symptoms by addressing the true problems, if you are seeking efficient and effective body work, then you can count on Peak Performance. Nagging injury, losing the bounce in your step, pain or tightness keeping you from training hard and reaching your goals? Raise your standards, raise your expectations. Call Peak Performance, 543-8688. Hey guys, Paul Tarek from Living the Run here. As a former Olympian, there is only one place myself and fellow athletes go when it comes to chiropractic care on the Central Coast. With four chiropractors in the clinic, Slow Wellness Center is the largest, most comprehensive group of docs in San Luis Obispo County. I began seeing Dr. Rex Stevens back in 2005 for spinal adjustments to help maximize my performance, minimize my injury, and allow me to compete at my best. When the difference between a win and a loss can be just a fraction of an inch, perfect alignment in all joints is essential. One of the great things about the team at Slow Wellness is no matter where I had an issue, whether it was my spine, my foot, knee, wrist, or shoulder, they were always able to help. This team, made up of Dr. Rex and Molly Stevens, Dr. Sachs and Dr. Bandolo, is sure to help you reach your health and fitness goals too. If it's chiropractic care you need, go where I go. Slow Wellness Center. 
Check them out at slowwellness.com or call 543-8688. Puma Aquatics Team offers year-round swim programming for novice, recreational, and competitive swimmers. For 16 years, Puma has developed some of the fastest swimmers on the Central Coast, as well as the nation. Puma has three convenient locations to choose from, providing programming for all of San Luis Obispo County. Puma offers swim assessments for new swimmers on Tuesdays and Thursdays at the Slow Kennedy Club, Atascadero Kennedy Club, and Arroyo Grande High School. For more information about Puma Aquatics, check out pumaswim.org. Join the Puma Pride and challenge yourself to reach new levels in your swimming. Puma Aquatics, where pride, passion, and persistence pay off. We're back with Living the Run. Welcome back to Living the Run. Great show thus far. Make sure you stay tuned for the CJ Silas Show at its new time, 7 p.m. here on ESPN 1280 The Ticket. Hey, cool girls, huh? Uh, Paul, that was a, that was a good good uh, segment, I thought. Slowflowfitness.com, Angela and Emily Fisher. Uh, fun stuff, a little bit different, uh, but something definitely that's going to catch on in this kind of core fitness world, multi-planar type movement world. You know what's funny is during one of the breaks, I, I, I talked to Angela and I said... Uh, you, you know, I, I remember talking to you a while back. This was before we had her on with Ryan Fran. I ran into her at Kennedy one day, and she was doing some really interesting, you know, just really interesting movements. And it was like, you know, at the time, everybody else at the gym was just kind of doing normal gym stuff. And it was like myself and the guys I trained with uh, were the only ones really doing awkward type training things, you know, just things you don't normally see in a gym. And, and so was she. So I kind of had to ask about it. And I remember her telling me then, like, what she was into. I was like, oh, that's pretty awesome. You know, hey, good luck with that. We'll see how that uh, pans out. You know, it sounds awesome. And it wasn't until just now when we were talking that it clicked. I was like, oh, my gosh, I talked to her like two and a half years ago or more. Yeah, and, me, uh, me too. And, you know, her movement is so smooth. You know, I, haven't, I hadn't seen Emily work out. I'm sure it's the same for her. But Angela moves those club bells super smooth. And uh, you can tell, though, that she's working. It's kind of it's one of those athletic things. And I think you, you know more about this than me. You know, when you get into that kind of decathlon world, you can tell you guys are working. But a lot of times you make the movements look so smooth and effortless because you got it just down to a T, the mechanics. And that was her. It was, it was really actually I found myself just kind of staring at her watch. But at the same time, going, geez, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> that, that you kind of feel bad watching yeah. him do it and going, oh, that looks interesting. I don't think I could do it. Incredible. Uh, you know what I love? The, oh, I'll, I'll wait till tips and takeaways before I get to this. Hey, no problem. We got uh, Ryan Joyner uh, from Athlon Elite on the line right now, athlonelite.com. Ryan, we missed you last week. Uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, no, thanks for having me and happy birthday. Hey, thanks. You hear what I'm doing? 38, 38 <laughs> sets of 38. I did. That's impressive. That's awesome. That's yeah. about the best birthday present I think you could give yourself. I think so. I'm, I'm going to try to mix in a few sets of 76 along the way, so uh, uh, we'll see We'll see how it goes. You know, CJ Silas uh, coming on next, she, she said she'd put in a couple sets for me, but uh, I'm not counting on it. Uh, her show's coming up. She seems like she's prepping pretty good, and uh, she wasn't uh, she, she wasn't giving me that overexcited uh, uh, help as, as I wanted. How about you, Ryan? You can come in and give me a, give me a little help and do a set with me? Well, I say actually, I did push-ups earlier today. My it was a part of my workout today, so uh, you can take off about oh, I'd say a good probably fifty to sixty right there if you want to give me credit for it. Right, no, no push-ups by proxy. You made this. Uh, <laughs> you made this. Bed. Now you got to sleep in it. Hey, I'll do it. Hey, Brian, talk to us a little bit. Uh, you're always about education. It's what we love about you, and what we love about you at uh, Living the Run, and so thankful for your sponsorship. Uh, you know, we talk about you're talking about the stages of change model, and uh, you're kind of really trying to emphasize one important step. Talk about that whole system. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, uh, generally when we look at medical research, people are looking to find out what went wrong. But uh, what uh, Dr. Uh, James Prochaska did from, uh, and I believe it's from Vermont, the uh, University of Vermont, uh, they looked at 30,000 people that made a change for good that actually were successful changers and said, what did they do right or what worked that was right? And they discovered that everyone who makes changes goes through six stages. You know, and, and basically those stages are, uh, they label them pre-contemplation where you're not even thinking about changing, and then contemplation where you start saying, you know what, I think I need to change my body or I need to start quitting smoking. And then preparation. Preparation is where you're going to prepare how to do it. And then action. You take action, and that's where you begin the change. You stop smoking. You start an exercise program. You start eating healthy. Or, and then once, you, once from there, you get to maintenance. And then uh, you try to maintain that. And, of course, then they said there's termination where eventually you don't even have to try to maintain it. You've, you're officially changed, although we say that it's kind of you're in maintenance for the rest of your life. Well, here's the thing is this time of year, we're getting to the end of January, 
all these people that have made a major change uh, at the beginning of January said, "I'm going to start exercising and take a, a, a new year a New Year's resolution, take up my resolution." Uh, are getting all of a sudden these adversity coming back. You know, my, the kids, uh, your buddies are inviting you to Super Bowl parties, and all these things are getting in your way of that change that you made. And one of the things that people do is they jump into the action stage too fast and they skip preparation. So. What we've been trying to tell people to do is think about the preparation stage before you get into action. What are you going to do when these adversities come up? What are you going to do when your buddies invite you out to Wings Wednesday at Slow Brew? Are you going to go have 100 wings and five beers? You know, how are you going to deal with that adversity? And coming up with a plan ahead of time makes all the difference. And we'd, we'd say that that's the most important stage is not action but preparation. So right now... Those people that have made a major change and are starting to have some struggles and starting to have a difficult time sticking to it, take a day or two off, come up with a plan. Come up with a plan how you're going to deal with when you're too busy to get your workout in. Like, so you're, you're knocking out 38 push-ups 38 times in between radio sets. That's how you do it. So you've got a plan. And that's the key to having a good preparation stage before action. Hey, I even just got a, got a set in there, Ryan, uh, while you were talking there. Good, good, good <laughs> stuff. Perfect. That's straight preparation. Paul Terrick. Perfect. Yeah, one of, the, uh, one of the things you were just talking about, uh, I think that, that people, uh, when, when they make their plan and they go out to do it, they really kind of jump in. And what I like, I like what you said is, you know, they skip that preparation phase uh, and they kind of feel like it's an all or nothing kind of thing. Like they have to do it. And as soon as they slip, well, slippery slope, I, you know, I might as well just quit. Uh, like you said, your friends invite you out for some wings or something. Yeah, you probably don't need to be doing that. But if you get to the point where you're working out and you're really missing those things and you're, you know, it's, your workout starts to become a, a bother as opposed to like a reward almost, you know, maybe you do need to take a step back for a day or two, kind of regroup. Maybe you do need to go have a, a couple wings with your buddies, uh, but, but then get right back on track. Yes, yeah, certainly, and make that a part of the plan. So, you know, prepare for that. And, and, and if you count on that ahead of time and you think ahead and you think about that, that's exactly right. Then you're going to be prepared for it. You don't get depressed by missing the workout or you don't get down on yourself or you don't just fall completely off the wagon. You've got a plan. Hey, hey Ryan, that's good, good stuff. I uh, appreciate you taking the time to spend a little extra time with us uh, to get that cool. in. And uh, as always, that's why we want to send people over there to Athlon is, is it's more than just about a workout. It's more than just a look. Uh, preparation, you know, they always said failing to prepare is preparing to fail, and you don't want you these it. people to fail, uh, and we yep. appreciate that about you at Athlon. Uh, look look at these guys, athlonelite.com. Ryan, uh, thanks so much. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a happy birthday. Hey, thanks a ton. Hey, Paul, That you know, that's what it's all about. Uh, and they were talking about that. Angela and Emily were talking about that as well uh, with the mobility class and getting people prepared for the club bells. But real quick, tips and takeaways uh, from tonight's show. Yeah, the tip and takeaway kind of goes to, to Angela and Emily's philosophy of, you know, kind of like your philosophy. We love you. We want to see you. I don't want to see you here all the time. I don't, you know, I don't want to be a crutch for you. Be, be able to be self-sufficient. Yeah, no question. They uh, said instead of relying on med- medical care, you know, rely more on self care. And in fact, you can see that at slowflowfitness.com. Uh, it says self care coaching. Uh, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Uh, well, Paul, you going to be here next week? No, I'm not going to be here next oh, week. Oh, he breaks the streak. Well, we'll still have a great show next week. Adam Melhus back as the co host. Uh, for Paul Tarek, producer Max Woodcock, Emily and Angela Fisher from slowfitness.com. I'm Rex Stevens, and as always, we say here at Living the Run, live healthy, live bold, come live the run.